Synchronize your external audio in seconds. All right, guys, now hope you're all good. Now for once, I've got a quick video for you and it's not gonna disappoint, I promise. So if you make videos like this with a talking head, an external microphone, or if you just like to use an external microphone to record your vlogs or your interviews, whatever it may be, then this is the video for you. Because what I'm gonna show you is gonna blow your mind. Because in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can synchronize your external audio to your video footage in seconds in DaVinci Resolve. So let's dive right in. The first thing to do is import your footage. So when you're in Resolve, you're gonna to wanna to import your talking head or whatever it may be into the desired bin and then do the same again for your external audio as well. Now the most common way to do this is to drag in the first clip into the timeline along with the corresponding audio file. From here, you're gonna to wanna to select them both, right click and then press auto align clips. Choose waveform and boom. That will automatically align the clip with the audio, it does a fantastic job. However, you're gonna end up with a timeline full of waveforms and extra audio tracks that you no longer require. Plus, it's gonna be a nightmare to try and figure out if you're anything like me and you film like a dozen takes, it's gonna be a nightmare to figure out which video file correlates with which audio file. Now there's a much quicker and easier way to do this, and that is to select all of your external audio files along with all of your talking head video clips in one go. And to do this, you're gonna to wanna to go into your media pool and then you're gonna to wanna to press command if you're on Mac or control if you're on Windows and then select the bins that you've got this footage in. That's then gonna isolate your audio and it's also gonna isolate your video clips as well. So media organization is key. So now that you've got all of your clips isolated, you're gonna to wanna to select them all by pressing command and A if you're on Mac or control and A if you're on Windows. Then you're gonna to wanna to right click and select auto sync audio. Select waveform. Now you can choose to retain the video audio and the metadata, but for me, I like to leave these unchecked because what this is gonna do is essentially keep all of the audio files on the clip. So when you drag it into your timeline, it's gonna have your camera audio, which is gonna be your bad audio, along with your decent external audio as well. Whereas I just want the decent external audio to show up on my timeline. So for me, I'll leave these unchecked. Then hit sync. And once it's done, I can drag any of the video files into the timeline. And as you can see, I've got one audio track, which is my decent external audio, perfectly synced with the video. Boom. Honestly, mind blown. Now, if that's not worth a thumbs up, I don't know what is. And it's done this for every single video clip as well. It's automatically synced each and every single video clip with the correlating audio file on its own. I've not had to go in there and keyword anything or name each individual file a certain way or in a certain audio. It's just automatically figured out which clip correlates to which external audio clip. How awesome is that? Honestly, this has saved me so much time. Because before, what I'd have to do in Final Cut Pro is I'd have to try and marry up 20 plus video clips with 20 plus audio clips because I do multiple takes when it comes to these talking head videos. I suck, I'm not very good at this. Sometimes a lot more than 20. I'm kind of like playing it down to be fair. <laughs> We're talking more like 50. But I have to figure out which one correlated with which. And then from there, create 20 to 50 multicam sequences, which was just a nightmare and it took forever. It was such a time consuming task. This is ridiculously fast and once it's done, you don't even notice you've done it. Whereas like a multicam, you know, they're a bit faffy, they're a bit awkward. This it keeps the original file as it is. So it kind of seems like it's embedded within the video file. Genius, love it. Now to double check that you've done this right, you can actually expose another column in the media pool that shows you the synced audio. And as you can see, I've got all the video clips on the left hand side and as I scroll to the right, you can see the synchronized audio file that goes with that particular footage. Game changing. So that's it from me. There'll be many more DaVinci Resolve tutorials to come, trust me. <laughs> but if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing, hit the bell, all those nice things that will put a smile on my face. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. I know, I know, you heard a little something about me, right? People love to talk, everybody wanna tell me, right? I know, I know, bunch of fakes all around me, right? They clowning like, I ain't hear what it sounded like.